Hi, my name is Laura, and at night, about three in the morning, I get waked up, and I hear, pick up your pen, and I just begin writing what I hear. And I want to share one of my writings with you all. It is time to speak of the new Earth. As you know, this plan has been in place for eons. It is the raising of the frequency or vibration that will put one in the fifth dimensional new earth. Here there will be more love, less fear, less control, and darkness. Each soul ascending to the new earth has made that choice prior to this incarnation. Once the new earth is populated, humans will be born there as well. These will be souls that have made the choice to go to the new earth. Enlightened ones will go. There will also be enlightened ones left on earth that will assist those who have not awakened but are on the edge of knowing. They will be more wanting and open to knowing. This book will help them with the understanding. You see, as we watch the earth, and the humans inhabiting the earth, we see many walking around in a daze, much like zombies. These humans are filled with fear and many unaware of their, their emotions, many robbed of their joy. There is much density being created by darker forces. This collective group of people want to keep humans controlled and trapped. They are motivated by control and power and greed. This group owns, controls, and hoards energy resources, financial institutions. They control the power in government and large corporations in the form of regulations. They own communications and they feed false news and are careful not to let certain truths out to the masses. They rule by fear and have no regard for human suffering or human life. To the humans, to them, humans are only a pawn in their game. Much like your practice of slavery, the method in which the owners treated their slaves. There's no regard for their well-being. They're only interested in their production capacity what gain they can obtain from having the human perform as they need. From our perspective, we watch as humans move around like zombies, unawake, unknowing, only following the condition they are placed in. Throughout history, humans have been fed untruths by those in power, both by government and religions throughout the world. They have known thousands of enlightenment, right? They have, oh, there have been thousands of enlightened ones that have come forth to speak the truth, to show humans a different way, to help them understand what is and how the laws of the universe operate and the power of love and the energy that thoughts contain. They have come forth to help humans elevate, to understand the ability that humans have to manifest what they desire. These enlightened ones have, forced, have faced much ridicule and dismissal as it is difficult to cut through the veil of unknowing and the programming that has been placed on these humans from a very early age. The parents teach the children the programming and conditioning that has been taught to them. These enlightened teachers have been throughout history trying to show a better way. Many humans are so entranced in programming and fear that they resist and ridicule the change. A change that has more love, more freedom, and encompasses the truth. Many of the truths, there are thousands of universes that have many worlds that are inhabited by many different entities, energies, and forms. Earth is one of the lowest functioning planets in all the universes. We have put many plans and light beings and teachers on the planet trying to help humans raise their technology, their vibrations, so they do not destroy themselves again. 
As we said earlier, this is not the first time Earth has destroyed itself. This awakening that is occurring, we refer to it as the human's quickening. It's a shift in the energy to help raise vibrations. Earth was meant to be a beautiful playground to play, not to be a place of so much pain and heartache and fear. The scriber of this book is a light worker. She made a contract with us before entering Earth to help bring the information to you in the form of this book. If you are reading this book, then you are a seeker and you are beginning to awaken. You will know in your heart that these words are truth and that the reading of these words will encourage you to continue seeking. This information can be found in more detail and many more resources as you begin searching for more truth. Ask and follow your guidance and you will be led on this journey to obtain the truth and the information that you are longing for. The information is available in many frequencies. As your energy or frequency shifts, you will learn at that frequency. This is what we refer to as quickening. As your vibration raises, you learn and seek at that faster pace. Your heart opens and you begin to move from that place of knowing rather than the program logic of your mind. Moving from the solar plexus and the heart chakras located in the middle of your chest this is the knowing with your heart. What we mean by that is that the universal knowing that we are all one. What is good for all is good for you. You are not separate. It is not wise to take at the expense of others suffering or their pain. Your people and animals and plants have all suffered unnecessarily because of this behavior. All is suffering because of greed, mindlessness, programming that destroys. So how do you raise your vibrations and begin to shift? It is walking through your fear. Do not give it power. Do not give it life. You have lived a lifetime of being fed shame, guilt, what is wrong. These truths are not so. You are a beautiful, unique, amazing being that is from Source. Source is all-encompassing love. When you learn to reconnect to Source, you reconnect to that energy of love. Why are we saying love? Because it is the word on your earth that you understand to be the feeling that is the frequency and the mindset that has peace and happiness and fulfillment for you. It is the highest emotion or an emotion on an emotion chart. This vibration is where your knowing and your power resides. When you operate from this place, there is not room for fear, anger, hate, shame, guilt, greed, judgment, condemnation, all those emotions that are dense and you're and judging. Love is a powerful frequency that bonds and builds the strength of the collective. It is that connection that many humans do not have and that makes them feel isolated, lonely, disconnected. It is lack of love that is destroying your beautiful planet, the mountains of trash from human greed and consumption, the destruction of beautiful mountains and forests due to mining and deforestation, the destruction of natural habitats for urban development, the polluting of air with your machines and chemicals, the processing, the depletion of the lubricant inside Mother Earth due to your drilling and fracting, the killing of your beautiful diversity of animals on both on land and sea due to the greed of killing them for profit, trophies, and the rush of the ego. And your beautiful water. Water is such a powerful substance for life, and you destroy and pollute and fill it full of chemicals. And your humans, the starving people, the beaten, the abused, the neglected, the cast outs, the sick, the mentally ill, 
Oh, all of this done with such lack of love, such disregard, such mindlessness. It is not okay to turn your head and pretend that it is not your problem. You are all connected. We are all connected. We come from source and we return to source. Source is pure love. When actions come from the frequency of love, a knowingness that what is good for all is the best choice. Then everyone begins to feel connected and the vibrations are raised and all things flourish in this environment.